Jared, you've been here a while now, so you know about the rivalry, but when you first got here, how long did it take before you realized the uh, intensity of the uh, battle for the bell? Um, definitely as soon as we came out on the field against them that first game my freshman year. Uh, we struggled that year. Uh, Tenants wasn't great that year, and then we came out week three against Cincinnati. We were 0-2, and the stands were packed. Um, so just seeing how much it meant to all the fans and all the students you know, around the campus, it didn't take long. I'd say about as soon as we came out of the tunnel and saw you know, the environment for that first game, that's when I understood what the rivalry meant to the people here. I'm curious, uh, these first couple games, it looks like there's been pretty tight coverage on you, at, not just you, but all the receivers at Marshall and, and uh, last week as well. Uh, going into UC, uh, I guess you would expect some of the same. Has the, and has the coverage seemed to be pretty tight this year? Um, definitely. So far, we've seen you know pretty similar defenses the first two weeks. You know, we saw a lot of one high. Um, you know, this week will be a little bit different. We'll see more two high, more quarters coverage. Uh, I mean, anytime you know you come out and you're trying to you know run the ball a lot, you could definitely see some man coverage. So that's what that's what we've had so far, and that's probably what we'll expect in the future. Uh, you got this game at at Miami. Uh, traditionally. Uh, You've played pretty well, uh, you know, against uh, UC when it's on the home turf. Uh, what are you expecting this time? And uh, would it, I guess you feel pretty good about having the home fans there, uh, hopefully behind you. Yeah, I mean the Cincinnati game's special, but it's it's hard to say we prepare any different. We prepare for every game the same, but anytime you come out there and run on the field, and like I said, that that environment's a little little different, it's special. There's a little more, you know, energy that comes from that. And it, it is easier to bring a little bit more, especially on your home turf with the with the fans behind you and stuff like that. So, I mean, I definitely think we'll prepare the same like we do every game, given everything we have. But when you get out there, it's hard not to give a little extra with, the, with all the excitement. Do you feel compelled to try to indoctrinate the newcomers to the program about what to expect from this? Or would you rather just let them experience? Do you, and do you think you can? Uh, give it, give them an idea of the atmosphere. Um, I think it's something they just have to experience. I mean, I think people come and a lot of them, you know, hear things about the Cincinnati game, but for the most part, it's just the whole week special. There's a lot of fun things going on, and and then the game's just different than the rest. So I think it's something that people just have to experience. Here and uh, uh, having the Austin P game where you played them, and then where they played them, is there anything to be gained uh, by you know? comparing the, the two uh, instances? I mean, obviously we watched film on Cincinnati versus Austin P, and since he's going to have our film against Austin P, and then that's kind of an advantage for both teams to be able to go against the same opponent going into this game and knowing what that team ran and, and how that team handled it. But, I mean, when we go up against Cincinnati, that's a whole different game. So I think there's some stuff that can be taken away. There's comparisons that can be made on film, but for the most part it's, it's Miami versus Cincinnati this week, and, you know, those were games of their own, so. Uh, DeAndre, it looks like the defense is uh, uh, on track for another outstanding year. How do you think things have uh, uh, been going this year for the defense in general and uh, your unit in particular? Um, for my unit, we're doing good. We just listen to everything like our coaches tell us. And we try to execute the game plan. And we had this mindset, the mall, and we just try to like, like just hunt, be disciplined, and just eyes and execute. Who came up with the mob? Who first said that? And how did it and did it quickly catch on? Um, our coach Ski, he came up with the mob, and ever since he came with it, it was a great idea. Cause, like I said earlier, hunt, um, relentless and discipline, and we just go by that, and just make and just we just play better. Defense plays off the offense, and you guys really play off each other pretty mm -hmm. well. Uh, Saturday, third quarter, the offense wasn't doing very much in you know, moving the football. You guys came out and got a couple of turnovers and really kind of swung the momentum of the ball game. Um, we just had to stay positive. We just can't think. Just because the offense is not driving right now, we just got to like do our job. Just don't worry about the offense because the offense is pretty good, so they're going to make plays. And we just handled our business and did what we had to do. Yeah, so defensively, at the end of last season, according to NCAA.com, you were ranked within the top 25 of total defense. 
Uh, given the fact that uh, we have this mob defense now, the defense clearly only got better developmentally. Uh, do you think this is a, a reachable goal? Yeah, I feel like we can we can um, get higher than top 25 this year. We should be in the top 10, top 15 this year because we got like eight returners back on defense, starting defense. So we should be good for the rest of the season. We should just get better as the season develops. What challenges does the Cincinnati offense pose uh, for you guys? I'm, I'm, you've watched, I'm sure, their games already. So uh, what are you most concerned about going up against the Bearcats? Um, they have some very skilled receivers, way better than Austin P. Um, they're big, fast, can catch, they can block. We just got to stay disciplined and play fast. All right, DeAndre, thank you very much. Appreciate it.